So this is three, the three monthly cycles. Four sides, four sided. Three fours are twelve. It's the twelve zodiac signs. You've got the you're coming. So the sun's in equilibrium. It's going down for three months. It comes up for three months. Equilibrium. Then it goes three months up, three months down. This is what this represents. The middle one here is the fixed sign. It's not affected. This comes around the corner. Here and here. These are the corners. But there's a specific corner I'm about to get to. Cornerstone the builders rejected. It's all to do with this. That stone. Pyramid, stone, obelisk, stone. So we come over to corn. Corner. Break it down. Corn. Corn isn't what you eat. It's not one of those yellow things you stick in your mouth. That represented a time. Because all this is all about a time. And it's all about man's spiritual enlightenment. That time, that's what all religions, all mythological stories are all alluding to. Which science is trying to hide from you. All the school systems all trying to bury it. They don't want you to know what life is all about. What's the meaning to life? Where you've come from? Where you're going? No. They don't want you to know anything. They want you to keep corn at a time. As it turns the corner of the column in the center core, it's in the center, in, in, core, in, th, peak or point, peak or point, look up at the corner, peak or point, Coriolis, what does that mean? From the center of, because everything comes from the black hole center. They know that, otherwise what they call it Coriolis. It's all over the place out when you look at their flat, their spinning ball, the weather pattern. What's it at the centre? Because they know it all comes from there. They're not stupid. They think you are though. They want you to be stupid. From the centre of the flat earth, the winds from the black hole, vortex. Done the Maori thing. Represents many grains because it represents a time, a season, spring. Doesn't refer to a food, it's not about the food, it's about a time, springtime. The four cardinal directions are not only north, east, south, and west, they are the four cardinal signs. Well, I'd write that because you have to be in wrong that the, the pyramid is slightly tilted anti-clockwise, isn't it, to north? It's not exactly the cardinal signs north, east, south, west. There's something going on there, so you have to realise. It's about this, about the zodiacs. We could figure out what, what was going on, why is it tilted? Okay, that's not in this video. I'll do a video on this soon. Sun Dinalema. Easily explained when you know the flat earth system and what the sun's doing. Winding up to the north, smaller in the north, winding out to the far reaches of the south. As the sun turns, it exposes the constellations in the opposite direction, and the fixed stars appear to move opposite direction. So with the sun on here turning 24-7 around here, it's going to make these look the background stars look as though they're going that way if the sun is moving slightly quicker. But they're actually moving together, but because the sun's moving quicker, this appears to go that way. It's their spinning ball theory. Everything's going that way and the sun's stationary. Now, and look at this. This is a phrase. Bob Geldof just used it, sort of a Pink Floyd documentary. And he says this, one of the cardinal pillars of our time. There's a phrase, for God's sake. Cardinal pillars of our time. It's a cardinal pillar. <laughs> now, let's hold off on that for a sec. Start reading some of this. What have we got? 
how an ear of corn got its name. How odd that we call an apple an apple, a squash a squash, but we say an ear of corn meaning a cob of corn. Where does the expression ear of corn come from? George, we may have too much time on our hands. Well, the ear, when we talk about ear in the Bible, we're talking about the ringing, ringing of the ear. Not an ear ring, you hang on here, but the ringing of the ear. Tonight is what do they call it, but it's because you've got a higher frequency coming in. Your pineal gland's exposed. Ringing, you can't do anything about it. The answer, dear George, too much time on your hands. No, it's an intriguing question, but it lures, it lures us down quite a garden path. To start at the beginning, the Oxford English Dictionary, a good source for how words evolved, says air is a spike or head of corn. We've got the spike on the top of the obelisk. You need to draw the eye of Horace in here, Freemason thing, the sun. The light up here, the sun normally sits at the top. Uh, part of a cereal plant which contains its flower or seeds. Seed, pineal gland. To keep the record straight, the words for ear as in corn and ear as in herring evolved from two different roots. Corn comes from an old word once meaning a grain of sand or, or other small hard substance. Corn became the generic for grain, be it wheat, barley, rye or whatever. So this plant that is properly called maize was referred to as corn by early settlers on this side of the Atlantic. So it's just a season when all these things are ready. And it all falls down to the corner stone, the season. Another one. To keep the record straight, the word air, yeah, we've done that one. Move along. Another one. What have we got here? Uh, there's a bit of a story regarding the maize. Landowners, workers were fed with this corn, right? For a while. Happy. Never mind that yield, that field workers were given little else to eat. They were fed this maize, right? And they died by the thousands from that, from that corn's niacin deficiency. A disease called pellagra. Tragic errors were legion in the situation, but one came out of complete cultural arrogance. The Europeans who discovered corn in the Americas assumed that native people were ignorant, so they never took the time to learn the all-important local technology that easily released corn's niacin. Hmm. Where's the rest of the story? I'll probably get to the rest of that story. Corn. Hardening or thickening of skin. Corn from Old English. Corn. Horn of an animal. Later. Corn on the root. Horn of an animal. Horn. Corn. Horn. It's all about sound. Uh, then you have Latin. Corno was used of many things similar in substance or form to the horns of animals and of projecting extremities or points. See this? Extremities and points. Corn, another one, to form into grains, granulate, form corn, to preserve and season with grains, corns of salt. Uh, make drunk as with corn whiskey. Corn beef has nothing to do with the grain. It is called 
for the corns. It is so called for the corns of grain, of salt, in which it's preserved. Uh, then we go on. It is called Nissan. This is jumping the gun into something else. Nissan. It's the time in the book of Esther, in the Tanakh, and later in the Talmud, Talmud which calls in the new year for kings and pilgrimages. Pilgrimage, pilgrimages. It is the 30 day month. So this is referring to the, the time, the, the time, which is uh, the, the spring equinox. And coming in, to the, this is getting on a bit, that's the, that's the month of the new year. Uh, what is Nissan 14 in the Bible? Quarter decimanism from the Vulgate Latin quarter decima in the Leviticus 23.5 meaning 14 refers to the custom of some early Jewish Christian observing the Eucharist Lord's Supper as the Jewish Passover, beginning with the eve on the 14th day of Nisan. They haven't quite got that right, they've got that a bit all mixed up. But it's interesting how they've got in Leviticus 23.5, with 23.5 degree elliptics, isn't it? Elliptics, elliptics is the, the, this is the maximum tilt the sun will go down in the December solstice, and then the sun comes back up north, 23.5 according to science, for the northern solstice, but it's 23.4, and it says meaning 14, so it's in Leviticus 23.5, meaning 14, so what's each side of the equinox, I mean, you know, that, that street, the ecliptic, it takes the moon 14 days to get down here, 14 days to get back, doesn't it? <laughs> 14 days. <clears throat> what else we got uh, God's instructions are that the Passover cedar was to be eaten at the twilight or midnight, but this was not the end of the 14th day. The Hebrew Biblical law regarding Passover is said to be a perpetual ordinance. That's why I put a ring around it. It's a perpetual ordinance. It's the same time. It happens over and over. It's a cycle. It's the Jesus story. Christ, it's an event. And it happened then. And I've also got more information than Maya. How they, they've written about it. To the minute. It never changes. And it happened recently, in 2017. It all happened then. That's what all the videos are about. It's a bit long and a bit deep if you're not, if you haven't been following me. Corin is given name in English. Corin is a given name in English, deriving from the Latin Corinus, a Roman god. The meaning is unclear, but it probably associated with spear. Once again, you come back to here, a spear point. The name is that of a character in William Shakespeare. Okay, in the Bible, Psalms 118.22. The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. It's become the cornerstone. So this is what the Lord God says. See, I lay a stone in Zion. I tested a tested stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation, and one who believes will never be shaken. Its foundation of earth is based on this cornerstone, what the pyramids have been left for. Jesus said to them, did you never read the scriptures? The scriptures. This is regarding the scriptures, these the cardinal signs. 
the zodiac, I mean. Constellations. The stories are all about that. Did you never read the scriptures? A stone which the builders rejected. This has become the chief cornerstone. This came about from the Lord, and it is marvellous in our eyes. This came about. It came about around the corner. The cornerstone. It's a seasonal change. Head. Chief. See, so look up chief. Cornerstone. Chief. This represents this. Head. Top. Chief. Summit. What's the meaning of chief? The head or leader of an organized body of people. The person highest in authority. The chief of police. The head or ruler of a tribe or clan. Indian chief. It's an enlightened one. Up there. That's why the Freemasons have the eye up here, right? Hebrew Bethar, house of father, being recognized as a technical term denoting a subdivision of a tribe. Roish is rendered literally head when it occurs in connection with the phrase so that chief fathers, numbers 31 to 29, numbers in the Bible 31, 26, and chief of the fathers become heads of fathers' houses. Heads of fathers' houses. Yeah. It's all it's all in here. The heads, probably the cardinal points. And then you go uh, more accurately translated as Prince. And Prince is all associated with this too. Prince. And misinterpretations which brought about the translation chief for Asylum Corners. Looks <laughs> like corners and chief. All connected. Greek for this first the revision, British American, first for the King James Version, chief, chiefest. Okay. Uh, this was the very stone upon which Jesus was crucified. Should we then be surprised to see in three of the four Gospels that Jesus directly quotes Psalm 118 and refers to himself as the cornerstone and parable of the rejected son? Refers to himself as the cornerstone in the parable of the rejected son. Yeah. Okay. Prophecies in the Old Testament to Jesus as the cornerstone, the most important element of a building with a sure foundation. It all starts in the foundation of earth in the centre there, right? We also see Peter of referencing these words when he and John were asked by what power they had helped a crippled beggar scriptures say then Peter filled with the Holy Spirit said to them rulers and elders of the people if we are being called to account today for an act of kindness shown to a cripple and are asked how he was healed then know this you and all the people of Israel it is by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, but whom God raised from the dead, that this man stands before you healed. He is the stone you builders rejected, which has become the capstone. Salvation is found in no one else, for there is no one other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. It's all about the ones who wake up and it's all through this positioning, divine event in the September spring. Jesus Christ has become the cornerstone of his new building, the Church of Believers. We are again encouraged by the words of Peter. So, keep coming to him who is the living stone 
This is all represented as the zodiacs, the constellations, okay? Though he was rejected and discarded by men, but chosen by God, and is priceless in God's sight, come and be his living stone, who are continually assembled into a sanctuary for God. Continually assembled. It's at that divine time, to the minute, into a sanctuary of God. For now, you serve as holy priests, offering up spiritual sacrifices that he readily accepts through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, that Christ is it. It's the event. All nations come, referring to this again, but all nations compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. They compassed me about, yeah, they compassed me about, but in the name of the Lord I will destroy them. Destroy them can mean a couple of things. It's killing your old way as you are enlightened into the new birth, the new way of life, the understanding, the spiritual world. Or the sun moving away, out, leaving them behind. I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and art become my salvation. <coughs> <coughs> the stone which the builders refused become the headstone of the corner. So it's the headstone, it's the stone at the top here, as it turns the corner in the season. This must be the um, you know the equinoxes. So the fixed sign. What have we got a cardinal? You've got well, I didn't write on there did I? Fixed. These are fixed, aren't they? Earth is Taurus, fixed. Water, air. These are the fixed signs. The stone to build refused to become the head stone of the corner. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvellous in his eyes. Marvellous. This is the day which the Lord hath made. He will rejoice 